Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Liam and I am one half of DeploymentZone.tv and tonight we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about the new Kill Team Prior Nexus box that Games Workshop have kindly sent to me to review and I'm glad they have because I wouldn't pay for it. So those of you that watch the channel and are subscribed will know that Games Workshop have for a while now sent me a product to review and I get it early so that I can give you guys my opinions on these products. Normally it's Codex Reviews, I did get Indomitus early, this time it's the Kill Team box. Uh, and they sent it to me a little under two weeks ago and as always I thought I would wait till my Tuesday slot to give you my thoughts and feelings on this box. Uh, and a point to note before I get going is that this stuff that's sent to me by Games Workshop is sent to me for free. There is no payment. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't pay me to review. So I don't have to be positive. And that's a good thing because on this occasion, I don't feel like I'm going to be particularly positive. And I wanted to give you that warning early. I feel like this could be quite a negative review. And I actually feel genuinely quite angry about what they're doing at the moment, and I'll explain why. So what is Kill Team Prior Nexus? Well, Kill Team Prior Nexus is a single box that gives you, supposedly, two kill teams to play the game of Kill Team with, essentially. And there is a board and some scenery and a rulebook. And when they first marketed the Kill Team Prior Nexus box, they did market it as everything you needed to get started. Apart from it's not, because they don't give you the Kill Team rulebook. So after you spent 95 English pounds on this box, you then still have to go and buy the rulebook just to be able to play with the contents inside. So not only do you need an additional rulebook, but if you're going to use all of the Space Marine models inside this box, you also probably need to buy another set of Necron models because there's no way that five flayed ones is the equivalent of five heavy intercessors and nor is a single Cryptek the same as a Gravis Captain. So the balance in this box is way off. So first of all, the balance is way off, and you can't use the two kill teams in their entirety against each other and call it fair. And secondly, you need the core rulebook for kill team to be able to play this game. So it's not a great start for everything that you need to get started, not to mention the fact that normally get started boxes do tend to include measuring sticks and dice, and you get none of those in this box either. So we're not doing well for £95. So what do you get for your £95 and what do you get in the box? You don't get a rule book, you don't get dice, you don't get measuring stick. What do they give you for your money? So you get the Kill Team Prior Nexus book, which gives you rules for the Necrons and Space Marines, Kill Team factions, including extra stratagems and stuff that you can use in your games for Kill Team. You do get a fold-out flat map that you can use, like a battle board type map that you can use, which is alright, but it isn't the greatest. Um, you do get some Necron scenery, and when I say you get some Necron scenery, it's a pathetic effort at giving you scenery for games of Kill Team, considering Kill Team uses height and uses line of sight, all that kind of stuff, and it's supposed to be immersive teams fighting in close quarters combat. The scenery is, quite frankly, terrible. Um, and then you get 12 models. You get five heavy intercessors. You get a Gravis Captain with a Mastercrafted heavy bolt rifle. You get a Chronomancer Cryptek, and you get five Necron Flayed ones. So you, you get a total of 12 models, and all of that, oh, and some cards, you get some data cards, because cards is what everybody wants in a hobby that, that you're predominantly focused on plastic models, and, and all that is £95. And to put that into pers perspective, to this day, you can still pick up Indomitus from places like Element Games for £125, so just £30 more. So what does £30 more get you if you buy Indomitus instead of buying the Kill Team Prior Nexus box? box? Remember, this is £30 more. £30 more gets you 61 models instead of 12. Uh, that's a total of 37 Necrons and 24 Space Marines. I've got the page, I'll keep looking because I need to remember the numbers. 24 Space Marines, so double the number of Space Marines that you get models in the Kill Team box. 24 Space Marines, 3 Blade Guard, 3 Eradicas, 
eradicators, 10 assault intercessors, and the, the smattering of characters that you get. 37 Necrons, including 20 Necron Warriors, plus the new Scorpec Destroyers, um, a Reanimator, etc. So that's 61 models instead of 12 for £30 more, not including the fact that you also get the rulebook, which is sold at around £30 in itself, the full 9th edition rulebook. So if you take the cost of the rulebook off of that £125, you're at £95 quid and you get 61 models, Space Marines and Necrons, instead of 12 so you can already tell why I'm super annoyed that this box was marketed at £95 for 12 models and some dreadful scenery. It's not like the multi-level Sector Imperialis type stuff that we've seen in boxes before. It's terrible little Necron statues which are barely big enough to hide an intercessor and a couple of doors. It's a really poor effort for £95 and in my opinion, a complete and utter rip-off. I'm hoping you can probably tell I'm super annoyed about this and I'm annoyed about this for a number of reasons. So we've talked about the imbalance. So even if you wanted to play Kill Team, you couldn't use all of one side's models against all of another side's models straight away because there is no balance there. We've talked about the fact that you have to buy the rule book just to be able to use the Kill Team box. So not only is it close to £100 in the first instance, which will be more expensive in other countries like places like Australia, but you have to buy additional to be able to use it. So you can't just use it and go, which means it's not a starter box so that makes it a ripoff in and alone of itself then there's other issues first of all the individual that decided to create the sprues for flaked runs is quite frankly a sick individual and shouldn't be allowed to design sprues anymore because they're going to break i suspect you probably need 10 of them to be able to make five because you have horrible spindly little hands where you need to affix a finger and thumb to them to be able to make a whole hand that's ridiculous and there's people out there going oh i'm looking forward to flag ones and they've seen this brew and gone, i don't want the flag ones that's why would i pay decent money for plastic that's just going to break when i try and snip it off the sprue that doesn't seem like a worthwhile investment. But of course, no one's really buying Kill Team Prior Nexus for the Necrons. In fact, let's face it, no one's really buying Kill Team Prior ne Nexus for, for playing Kill Team. No one wants it for that. I suggest that a smattering of people probably want the Chronomancer, and you might find Necron players looking for that model alone. And I read in mind better that they, most of them will pick it up on sites like eBay because most people that buy this box won't want the Chronomancer, that's not why they're getting him. And when you do want a Chronomancer in a Necron Force, you want one, maybe two normally. Very rarely we want three. The Gravis Captain, which is... Oh, hang on. So there he is, there's my Captain painted. That's right, I've painted a model. And he is pretty, so people will want the Gravis Captain. But what will they really want the box for? They want the box for the Heavy Intercessors. That's why people want Kill Team Prior Nexus. They want the Heavy Intercessors. They were advertised when the Space Marine Codex came out months and months and months ago. That's been a focus for people forever. When can I get my hands on these things? When can I get my hands on the Heavy Intercessors? So that's what people wanted. And I feel like Games Workshop's current marketing technique with this box is simply how can we squeeze as many pennies and pounds out of people as is actually possible in order to make the most revenue we possibly can before moving on to the next release because the Heavy Intercessors are a multi-part plastic kit. I'm building the actual Intercessors now. I, I was building them before I started this video. They're a multi-part pl plastic kit which means that they're ready for release as a standalone box. If they already are a multi-part plastic kit, that means they're ready for release as a standalone box. That, it's as simple as that. They can go in a normal box, and I suspect we'll probably see five heavy intercessors for around the 35 English pounds mark. Um, obviously, you have to convert for American, Canadian dollars, etc. But I'd imagine that's what we'll see them for. And I would suggest that's probably reasonable. I mean, it's five troops for 35 quid instead of 10 intercessors for 30, I think it is, 35. But that's not too bad. But why? Why sell you five intercessors for £35 when they can basically sell you five heavy intercessors for £95? Which is what they're doing. So expect to see flag ones on eBay for 15, 20 quid. Expect to see the Chronomancer and even the Captain for the same price because people will be buying this box for the heavy intercessors. And if you can sell the flag ones for 15, the Captain for 15, and the Chronomancer for 15, you've made £45 of your, of your 95 quid back straight away, haven't you? So even if you sell the flag ones for 20 quid, you're basically buying the Heavy Intercessors and the Kill Team book for 45 and if you can ship the book for a tenner, you get your £35 Intercessors, but they make you do the legwork to get there. 
This is horrendous marketing from a company that's trying to, essentially, it seems like, bleed their fan base dry in terms of money. A hobby that's supposedly accessible to everybody, but if you want heavy intercessors, you have to be prepared to spend nearly £100 for a unit that's been in a codex for months now. It's horrendous. And to top it all off, when they announced the pre-orders for Kill Team Pariah Nexus on that Saturday, they also announced that you could buy Heroes of Indomitus, the Space Marine characters. Everything in the Space Marine box, in fact, except for the Assault Intercessors and the bikes, for a measly, get this, £89. £89. Remembering, Element Games are still selling Indomitus for £125. So they're telling us that the Necron half is worth 36 quid. Apart from the Necron half isn't worth 36 quid because they're selling the Royal Court for 30, 68 pounds, which is the uh, the Reanimator, the Cryptek, the Scorpec Destroyer Lord, and the two trash cans. So not the three Scorpec Destroyers or the 20 Warriors, just those for 68 quid. So you can buy the Honoured of the Chapter and the Royal Court for a total of £157, which is more than Indomitus was. You don't get Assault Intercessors, you don't get Bikes, you don't get Necron Warriors, you don't get Score Pack Destroyers, and you don't get the Rulebook. Have a day off, Games Workshop. That's horrific. That's horrific to try and charge that for them. Now, it sounds like I'm being supremely negative, and I am, and it, I don't like it. I'm a staunch Games Workshop supporter. I have been in the hobby for ages. My business surrounds 40k and the hobby. Uh, my love, my passion that when I'm not working is 40k and the hobby. I'm surrounded by 40k stuff as we speak. I love Games Workshop products. I love getting the codexes from them and reviewing them, but I am not going to tell you that this box is good value for money, and nor am I going to tell you that you should buy it, because I need to maintain my integrity, and I need to give you an honest opinion and it feels to me like Games Workshop are simply trying to package things in such a way and sell it as the new shiny amazing great way to play Kill Team when really all they're doing is charging you through the nose for a bunch of stuff you don't want and one unit that you do and I think that's pretty disgusting in terms of sale tactics. And when you look at the honoured of the chapter at nearly £90, you look at the Necrons Royal Court, Royal Court at nearly £70, you work out the combined value of those and then work out the cost of Indomitus. Indomitus, by the way, which I thought was an incredible release and great value for money, they got it so right with Indomitus, so right, and they've got it so wrong this time round, and it's horrendous. If I'm going to give them some positives, the Captain Sculpt is, is glorious, the Chronomancer Sculpt looks glorious, the five Heavy Intercessors multi-part kit is a nice kit to put together. I mean, it's Gravis with bolt rifles, bolt rifles that are almost as big as Imperial Guardsmen, but it's a nice kit. It's a decent kit. It's a kit that I'd happily pay the £35 for when they come out in their own box. Would I buy Kill Team Pariah Nexus? No. Would I advise anyone out there to buy Kill Team Pariah Nexus? Well, if you've got a Necron army and a Space Marine army, I would suggest that the four units in the box is probably still shockingly going to be cheaper than buying them separately. Probably. I mean, flayed ones, £20. The characters... £20 each, that's 60 and then the Space Marines, £35, so you're talking 95 quid, roughly £95 if you bought them all separately when they come out, so if you want all of those models, it might just, just be good value for a Kill Team book, you can throw out a board you'll never use, some cards that can go in the bin, and some Necron Scatter Terrain, which you won't use the doors, but the little blocks might be usable, might be, but if you're not into those models... You don't want flag ones for your Necron's army. I instantly think this isn't a good purchase and won't be great value. I just don't think it will be. I think if you look at those four units, even as standalone units through an independent retailer like our sponsors, Element Games, and you buy them through them with their standard sort of 10 to 20% off real retail price, it's going to be cheaper than the Kill Team box and you won't end up with a pile of stuff you don't want. So my advice is, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Wait till they come out separately. Go to Element Games, use their link and buy it from them. 
if you do want to buy it, if you are that way inclined, if you are a Kill Team player and you want to play Kill Team, then you can hit the link directly below this video and I will link the Element Games web store and I will link Kill Team Pro and Access in the Element Games web store and it will be our affiliate link. So if you do decide to purchase this terrible, terrible box, then we will get a 5% kickback for all purchases and we thank you all so far for those of you that have been making purchases through the Element website. Our affiliate link is performing really well and Element love us at the moment. So thank you so much. You guys are all heroes. Don't forget we also have the DZ TV merchandise store on Element element as well so you can chuck in some dice because you'll need to add deployment zone tv dice because you don't get dice in the box you can't play it off the bat unless you already have dice oh and don't forget you'll also have to go and find the kill team rule book you need that to play it as well and probably some more necron models because the box isn't balanced this is this is such a terrible do you know i can't i don't even want to talk about it anymore it's that bad it's that bad it's that embarrassing i'm done with this review and i'm going to say don't buy it please don't buy it don't reward them for this kind of behavior same as don't buy honored of the chapter don't buy the necron royal court don't buy those things continue to go and find those individual units on ebay why would you include three eradicators and three blade guard veterans in that box when you can buy them as multi-part kits anyway and the multi-part kits are nicer than the easy to build kits don't buy it don't don't give them the money for these particular box sets speak with your wallets don't buy this. Don't do it. Tell Games Workshop that this is wrong and they shouldn't be trying to squeeze every penny they can out of their fan base. <sighs> to reiterate, I still love 40k. On the whole, I still love Games Workshop. I just think they've currently got it incredibly wrong with how they're trying to sell and package these models and these units. And I hope they, I even hope they watch this. And I hope they go, wow, he was angry. That was a. They probably won't, but I hope they do because I just can't get behind this at all. I can't. In a hobby that I love, in a hobby that is my business, I can't get behind this. And talking about my business, if you want to support me further, if you want to support the channel and you want to support Winters from Winters SEO, you can head on over to deploymentzone.tv. There is a link below. You can join our amazing community. There's access to tons of videos if you subscribe through deploymentzone.tv, battle reports, sit and talks, Q&As. We've recently done a community Q&A about the Play on Tabletop collaboration that we're doing, the 12-part series that is officially exclusive to deploymentzone.tv. So you can go head on over there and check that Q&A and both me, Tack, Tyco and Winters answered questions around the collaboration and that's fresh in as of this last Friday. Um, we've got Combat School that's coming to a close I believe between Winters and Sultan. We've got the Four Horsemen of the Hobby Apocalypse series which perhaps Galleon is running which is incredible which is 250 points a month every month of painted minis in an Escalation Tale of Four Gamers type league thing that's going on which is awesome. Love that sort of stuff. So our community is amazing and actually we're great value for money because we're $5.99 for a monthly subscription. Well it's $4.99 plus VAT so in the UK we're $5.99 for a monthly subscription and you get all that additional content and we're not going to try and sell you tons of stuff you don't want to squeeze every penny out of you so subscribe to Deployment Zone instead of buying Kill Team Pro Nexus that's what I would advise in fact you can get an annual subscription to deploymentzone.tv for £35 less because I'm including VAT obviously for £35 less than Kill Team Pro Nexus and if you don't pay VAT even cheaper again you can get a subscription to deploymentzone.tv and you get even more value for money so do that instead, annual subscription. It's much better value, much, much better value. Uh, equally, like I said, you can hit up the Element Games link below. Element Games are our sponsors. They sponsor me on this channel, they sponsor Winters, and they sponsor DeploymentZone.tv as a company. Um, they're incredible, they're amazing, and they will be stocking Kill Team Pro Nexus, and they're going to want to ship them, and they'll probably take a long time to get rid of, so hit up Element Games if you do want to support the I need to stop, it's getting too salty but hit up Element Games if you do want to purchase the box set and finally, if you want to purchase a glorious beard like this head them over to the Beard Struggle and there's a discount code below, LTDEMPS20 gets you 20% off everything in the Beard Struggle uh, web store and make sure you use that code so they know that you came from me as well and that also additionally supports me and all these levels of support mean that sometime soon I better join Winters doing this whole full time 40k thing Unless Games Workshop really kill their fan base by continuing to release these kinds of box sets. So, we're relying on you, Games Workshop. Step up to the plate. That's all I've got. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>